welcome everyone to another enlightening journey through the pages of the bible today we embark on a compelling exploration of genesis chapter 25 and genesis chapter 26 where stories of birthright blessings and faith legacies await we begin with genesis chapter 25 where we witness the birth of Isaac and Rebekah's twin sons, Jacob and Esau. Dive into the intricate narrative of Batright and Esau's powerful choice that will shape their destinies. Genesis chapter 25 unfolds a critical phase in the story of Abraham's descendants diving into the birth of Esau and Jacob. The sales of the birthright and the overhanging covenant legacy. This chapter is a significant pivot in the trajectory of God's chosen people, marking the transition of the covenant promise from Abraham to his sons. In this video, we will meticulously examine the nuances and implications of Genesis 25, unraveling the layers of many embedded in this powerful chapter. This chapter begins by introducing us to Esau and Jacob, the twin sons of Isaac and Rebekah. Esau the elder was a skilled hunter, a man of the field, while Jacob the younger was more inclined towards a quiet life. The contrasting personalities of the two foreshadowed the event that would unfold, illustrating the divine principle of the older we saw the younger as seen in Genesis 25 verse 23. The birthright, a prominent theme in this chapter, was a double portion of the father's inheritance typically bestowed upon the firstborn. In ancient times, it carried both material and spiritual significance. Esau, driven by immediate physical need and perhaps a lack of appreciation for the birthright spiritual weight, treated it for a bowl of lentil stew. Jacob's acquisition of the birthright exemplifies his shrewdness. He seizes a critical moment when a hungry Esau exhausted from auntie returns craving sustainers. Esau, driven by impulsive hunger, instantly agrees to trade his birthright for a meal. Later, filled with regret, he seeks to reverse the transaction, but the die is cast. Amidst the narrative of Esau and Jacob, the chapter subtly reaffirms the divine covenant made with Abraham. God's promise endures through the generations, even as human choices and frailties intermingled with it. This reaffirmation underscores God's steadfastness and his commitment to the covenant legacy. Genesis 25 also provides a detailed genealogy of Ishmael, Abraham's sons from Hagar, and his 12 sons. This genealogy sets the stage for the rise of great nations, fulfilling God's promise to Abraham regarding Ishmael's descendants. Genesis chapter 25 is a rich tapestry of narratives, emphasizing the significance of choices and their consequences. The Batright story demonstrates the intricate interplay of human decisions within the divine plan. It echoes the theme of God's sovereignty and faithfulness to his promises, even when individuals fall short. It's a chapter that set the stage for the unfolding drama of God's covenant with humanity. Moving on to Genesis chapter 26, we explore the life of Isaac, Abraham's son, as he faces challenges in the land God promised. Discover the significance of blessings and the dispute over wealth that mark this chapter. Genesis chapter 26 delves into the lives of Isaac, Abraham's son, and unravels a tale of faith, trials, and divine covenant. Isaac's story stands as a testament to God's faithfulness and provision even in times of famine and adversity. 
In this video, we will meticulously dissect the nuances of Genesis 26, exploring Isaac's covenant journey and the prosperity bestowed upon him in the land of Gera. The chapter commences with Isaac relocating to Gera due to a severe famine in the land. Fearful for his life, he follows in his father's Abraham footsteps by introducing his wife Rebecca as his sister. King Abimelech discovers the truth and rebukes Isaac, emphasizing the potential harms Isaac's action could have caused to his people. Isaac's decision to dig wells not only pertains to physical sustenance but also carries symbolic weight. Wells were essential for life in the harried landscape of the Middle East. Isaac's servants encounter hostility from the Philistines as they strive to secure these vital sources of water. This struggle over wells signifies the ongoing spiritual and material conflict faced by God's people. Amidst trials, God reaffirms his covenant with Isaac promising descendants as numerous as the stars. God retreats this covenant, emphasizing the blessings that it will be bestowed upon Isaac and his descendants for Abraham's obedience. Isaac's prosperity in Gera highlights God's faithfulness to the covenant. Despite the challenges, Isaac becomes prosperous, so much so that the Philistines envy him and Abimelech seeks a peace treaty. Isaac's resilience and faith in God's promises ultimately result in a peaceful coexistence with the Philistines. Towards the end of the chapter, we glimpse into Esau's choices regarding marriage. His house married to a woman from the local Hittite community deeply concerns his spirit, Isaac and Rebecca. This act not only veers away from the cultural and spiritual norms, but raises apprehensions about the preservation of the covenant lineage. Genesis chapter 26 paints a vivid picture of Isaac's life displaying the interplay between human actions and divine intervention. It showcases God's unwavering commitment to the covenant with Abraham carried forth through Isaac even amidst challenges. Isaac's prosperity, the affirmation of the covenant, and the symbolism of wealth collectively provide insight into the intricate narrative of faith and legacy. As we conclude our exploration of Genesis 25 and Genesis 26, we uncover lessons about choices, blessings, and the faithfulness of God's promises. Thank you for joining us on this biblical journey through Genesis 25 and Genesis 26. May these chapters inspire us to make wise choices and trust in God's faithfulness. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you won't miss our upcoming Bible studies videos. Until next time, may we walk in the light of God's word. Stay tuned for more Bible studies.